Hey everyone, welcome back to Buick Outdoors. My name is Sheldon Marion and today we have another recipe for you. Uh, but before we get to cooking, we have to head out to the woods. We have to see if we can find ourselves some chickens. Little spruce then. Another one flew away. There we go. There's one spruce. Got that one right in the neck. Oh, there's one over there on the right. I'm telling you, this little 17. <laughs> you can take some far shots on chickens with this thing. See how far is that? So roughly step this off. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, forty-six. <laughs> forty-six steps, so about forty yards. Hit a loony size target free hand. That's a bit of skill, but a lot of the gun, too. This thing here is just a cheap little Savage Arms. What is this, 93R17. It's like an $80 Simmons scope. CCI. Pretty deadly combination. A dummy. Runs out after we drive past them. Another perfect little headshot. Hey, now you're getting blood on my gun. 
Well guys, we just got back from another uh, chicken trip here. Uh, as you can tell, the wind is blowing like crazy. So we got uh, got out of there just in time. But now what we gotta do is clean up a couple of these chickens. Grab them by the feet. Right here's the front of their breast. Go up to the tip. And grab their hide. Grab it, pull. That exposes everything there for you. And if you want to, you could just lay them out flat like this. And take your knife and run it along here, down this wish pole. Do that on both sides. And then that way, you can just remove the meat like that. Now that we're home, we can do that. If you're out in the field, you can't because you need to leave wings attached uh, just for identification. Anyways, put your finger in there, grab the neck, give her a pull, and out it comes. And then with these two, once I pull them off, you have a little bit of feathers and stuff. So I pull those out, just to clean them up a little bit. You don't really have to, but it is nice to have a nice clean bird. A little bit of work goes a long ways. And there you go. One nice clean bird. Ready to go into the fridge and chill for a couple of hours. Or if you want to chill them overnight, what I do is I cut the wings off and I'll take the whole breast and I put it into a bowl of water and then that way it doesn't dry out on you. Just uh, when you pull them out the next day, dry them off, knock the breast off, or you can just throw it into a roast pan, you can roast these. And then with these spruce grouse too, they kind of cook up like a steak. So if you like anything like uh, steak quesadillas like I'm going to be making here uh, today, it makes great chicken quesadillas, but they do kind of taste like steak. But I got a couple more to clean up here. Then I'm going to get out of this wind because this is terrible. All right, you guys, so we made her back into the house and out of that wind. And now we're going to start on chicken quesadillas. Uh, so to start off, we got some vegetable all cut up here. We got green bell pepper here, nice and thinly sliced. Same thing with the yellow bell pepper. And it's about a half a pepper that we're using. And then some white onion. Same deal, nice thinly sliced. And then just some white mushrooms here. And with this stuff here, we're going to grill this stuff uh, for I don't know, a couple minutes here. Just kind of soften everything up. Then we'll take them off, put them on a plate. And we'll get started on our chicken. So to start things off here, I'm going to grab a little bit of oil. Then, after that, grab our vegetables here. So we have a little bit of yellow bell pepper, some mushrooms, a little bit of onion. And then I'm going to take half the green pepper and throw it here. The other half is going to go over here. Because that's all Shelby wants on her. She doesn't want the whole mixture here and we're not going to be cooking this stuff for very long just enough to kind of soften everything up just slightly and you can throw some salt and pepper on here if you want tonight we're not going to be doing that and this isn't going to take very long to cook here well, we've been cooking on our vegetables here now for just a couple of minutes. So let's head over to the pan here and let's see how they're doing. So as you can see here, they're starting to brown up just that little bit on the bottom here. For the most part, we just kind of sweated it until these onions pretty well became soft. And then on Shelby's side here, she just has a couple of green peppers and yellow peppers. So we're gonna take these off then we're gonna get cooking up our chicken here. So we'll 
grab our plate here. See if we can pull all these off without making a big mess. Now even though it's just simple uh, pan fried onions, peppers, and mushrooms, this already smells just phenomenal. Grab Shelby's here now. Now while we were waiting for these uh, vegetables to cook, I went and I took four of our chicken breasts here. So it's uh, two breasts per chicken, two chickens, four breasts. And again, cut them up uh, fairly thin, quarter inch to half inch strips. And we're just gonna go ahead, put these onto that uh, hot grill there. And with these, we're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper and maybe uh, some garlic powder, some garlic plus on them. So over to the grill, a little touch of oil, grab our chicken, want to make sure that all the chicken there gets a little bit of oil on each piece, then as it cooks it'll start to spread out and break up here. And then to add to this, we're gonna grab some spices. Today it's just gonna be a simple salt and pepper, and then garlic plus. So we have a little touch of salt. Bit of pepper here. And then instead of garlic plus, we have this roasted garlic and pepper. Put a bunch of that stuff on there. And then this chicken here, it doesn't take very long to cook, so we'll give her a flip. Cook on these here for a few minutes, and then we'll start uh, making up our quesadillas here soon. So when we were out in the woodshed there, I was telling you guys how uh, when you cook up spruce grouse, it kind of turns, uh, it's almost like cooking a steak. And when we go over to the uh, the hot pan here, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so here you can see we got all the sliced chicken up. And you can see how it browns up pretty well, just like a steak. Get that real nice caramelization on there. You don't want to overdo it, otherwise it just dries it out, and that's no fun to eat. So with this here, I think what we're going to be doing, we'll take this, we'll call this about good enough. So we'll throw this onto a plate and get our pan going for, uh, for the quesadillas to go into. All right, so now that we've got our vegetables done, our chicken is done, we have our pan here, it's all nice and hot. We're sitting at about a six, and this is just for the quesadillas. This little bit of oil, get it nice and spread out. And this way here, we can take this and we can toast it. Now while that's sizzling, we'll take some of our vegetables, Well, I'm being pretty cheap on this one. I gotta grab a few more here.
This one's for Shelby, so we'll try not to get too many onions and mushrooms in here. We got that going. Now from there, we'll add in some chicken. And you don't want to just clump it in there. You kind of want to put it in there somewhat smooth. There we go, pop that little air bubble. Then once we get some chicken in here, we'll grab some cheese. Don't want to be stingy on the cheese. Put lots in there. There we go. Now it's kind of hard to tell how crispy your uh, your quesadilla is getting, but you grab your little spatula and lift up one corner. Give her a scrape there. You can hear that it's getting a little hard on that side. And this part here, I'm going to show you a little trick on how you can flip these without making a big mess. First thing you got to do, take your other quesadilla, put it on top like that, grab yourself a plate, see if this one will fit or not. Now you grab your whole pan, take it, flip it upside down. There's one quesadilla. Now you can grab this edge, put your plate in there, slide it on back in. And there you go. That's how you flip it without making a great big mess. Now with this one, we're gonna be putting a little bit of barbecue sauce on the bottom. So I'm using a Chipotle barbecue sauce. You don't need a whole lot. Put it on like that or you can spread it out. If you spread it out, use like a, today I'm gonna use a spoon. You can use one of them little barbecue brushes and stuff. Spatula, it don't really matter. Slap her on there anyways. So we got a good little layer of barbecue sauce. If you see these little air pockets come up, you can pop them, or you can just let them go. It doesn't matter. It won't hurt nothing. Now, after we put our barbecue sauce on there, we're gonna grab our vegetables that we cooked up. And you kinda wanna make these as even as possible. You don't want a great big huge clump in the middle. You don't want bunched up on one side that looks about good enough now we're gonna take our chicken we're gonna lay this in there so there's our chicken added and then we have one more thing yet to put in there and that's just a whole lot of cheese uh, today we're using a shredded double cheddar Mozzarella or provolone would work real good in this. Tex mix, whatever. You guys can change the recipe as you like it. There we go. Oh, something like that. Now we just gotta sit and wait. Let that case to cook and get crispy. As soon as you cut into it, you can just smell that barbecue sauce coming out. Cut this other side here now.
Now if that doesn't make you drool, I don't know what will. So let's plate this up here. Get this out of the way. Now with mine, I like to have a little bit of salsa and some sour cream to dip it in. With Shelby there, she likes uh, it's a jalapeno ranch that she likes to use. There we have it. So here we have chicken quesadillas, we have barbecue sauce, a little bit of onions, peppers, and a whole lot of cheese. All right, and as per usual, we got Shelby here. She's all lined up. Ready to take a uh, taste of these. All right. These definitely weren't, uh, you definitely didn't rip me off on any filling there. Man, I love gross. You gotta get out in the woods and get you some, get yourself some grouse and try these. Try these. This is so good. I can't even talk, right? Well, <laughs> I don't know if I should redo that. No, no. <laughs> well, you guys, so good. Leaves you speechless. I guess. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, see you guys on the next one.